Call of Duty. We all know it and we all love it, right? Let me explain. For this story, we'll have to start way back. We'll have to go back to 2003 when Activision published the original Call of Duty. Call of Duty. The game was a hit. In a relatively small game market compared to today, the game managed to sell a whopping 1 million copies, making it one of the best selling games in that time span. With stocks going through the roof, Activision decided to push the code titles even harder, resulting in title after title being released. Since then, the game has been set in the midst of the Cold War, in futuristic worlds, in outer space and in alternate realities, where the Nazis turned into zombies and where we were set out to kill them. And yes, this is where our story begins. In late 2008, Activision decided to publish the now well-known COD World at War. This was the first game in a line of many to come to feature the game mode Zombies. The Zombies game mode was originally put at the end of the game if you managed to finish the campaign. However, after being one of the biggest hits in the game, they had to rebrand it and put it in the forefront. This was the beginning of a new era, not only for Activision, but for you as well. After this seemingly innocent, but clearly unfortunate event, your life, as you probably already know, took a dark turn. To fully understand that, let's fully understand the game in question. You begin each match with a simple handgun. The main objective is to survive for as long as you possibly can. But there is a problem. In your way of this very simple objective stands waves upon waves of zombies. After each round, a more difficult round begins, where harder to kill zombies appear and you have to struggle even harder for your own survival. By killing zombies, fixing barriers and reviving teammates, you receive points. These points are used to buy weapons, perks and access different parts of the map. Now, the only question left is, how is this fun in any way? Repeating the same boring tasks over and over again can't be fun, can it? Except, it can. Because I forgot to mention one small detail. The boxes. You see, in your brain you have what's called dopamine and dopamine receptors. These brain components are a crucial part of our evolution since they reward us if we do good things that increases our chances at reproduction. For example, kill an animal or eat some fat rich food. They also reward you when you see beautiful colors or snort cocaine. And this is kind of the problem. You see, we humans got too intelligent for our own best, so we invented all kinds of things to trigger this part of our brain. Because when your brain rewards you, you've done something good, right? In the long line of drugs, games, beverages, things and food, gambling sits somewhere in the middle. We all know the amazing feeling of spinning a ray gun and how mad you get when you open M14. So after years of gam <coughs> gaming, your brain receptors have gotten used to the huge amounts of dopamine released when spinning these in-game boxes. Your brain simply built up a tolerance to these kicks of happiness, so socializing and touching grass simply wasn't fun anymore. And these companies abusing children's naive gaming habits? Well, the most patriotic thing we can do is make money, right? Now, 
that we have a full understanding of the reasons behind your fall, we can confidently state that your case is lost. The constant increase of dopamine kicks resulted in your loss of crucial social experiences because simply you didn't find them fun. After a couple of years there, your social skills were at the level of unsavable. This resulted in even more gaming and computing, maybe even a pornographic addiction. At the end of this long list of unfortunate events, you ended up looking at your list of over 100 games, thinking every single one was boring. Maybe you even opened one of them, but closed it a couple of seconds later after not feeling anything. After that, you decided to open up YouTube and find this video, so in the end of this seemingly endless string of complaints, who really is to blame? Yourself for keeping on playing that game, your father for buying it, Activision for developing it, or the government for allowing gambling for kids all in the name of financial profits? And isn't the government financed by ourselves, so is it us? Is it our own biology behind this fatal societal epidemic, enforced not by companies but ourselves? This is not a critique of capitalism, but rather the leaders behind it. The refute to act for a greater good, the widespread egocentric way of living, and how modern society has done nothing but making it worse? Because, at the end of the day, what does really, actually, truly matter? This is a critique of the human race and our collective choice to always put our ego in the forefront. This is a critique of the hundreds of companies using and abusing the very biology that brought them there, refusing to act with any regard to moral ethics, refusing to keep children hooked on social media, fucked up drugs, and of course, Call of Duty Zombies.